Hey everybody, it's Joe from HomestudioCorner.com, and today I want to talk about one of actually the first tech support issues that I had with my first Pro Tools system. Now, it's not a difficult problem to fix, uh, it's just if no one ever shows you how to do it, it can be pretty frustrating, so hopefully I'll save you guys some time. Uh, as you can see, I've got Pro Tools LE freshly installed on my computer, and I'm going to come over here to my Glyph hard drive and uh, open that up. And we're going to look at open up this uh, first song here. Awesome song, because it's an awesome song. And you get this message. And this is the first time when I opened Pro Tools, this is what happened. And it says, this session is saved on a volume that is set to transfer only, you know, if permitted, change it to playback or record in workspace, blah, 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 blah. Well, I have no idea what that means. And uh, in previous versions of Pro Tools, it didn't even say that. It just said, this is a transfer volume. Change it or copy the file. So I was very confused. So the solution that I found after a long time is come up to, in Pro Tools, you're going to come up to the window menu in Pro Tools and uh, click on that. And as you come down, you'll see there's a, t a workspace menu there. And now that pulls up this window where you can see both of your or all of your hard drives that you have connected to the machine. And as you can see, there's my glyph. And if you look over here, there's a column for audio and one for video. And you'll notice that these three are set to R which uh, actually stands for record, but this one is set to T. Now if you click on that, you'll notice that there are three options, transfer, playback, and record. So what we want to do is put it into record. So you click on that. And that's pretty much it. Now you'll notice in previous versions of Pro Tools, if you have version 7 or version 6, uh, these didn't give you that pop-up menu. You simply clicked on them and they changed from R to T to P for playback. And uh, that's why it was more confusing back uh, when I first started. It's a little easier now. So now we come out, try to open up our awesome song, and uh, let's see what happens. And looks like everything's good. There it comes. And we are off to the races in Pro Tools. Hopefully that helps. I want to thank Gwen, one of my readers, for submitting that question. He was having the same issue. If you have further questions, if you're watching this on YouTube, head over to homestudiocorner.com and leave a comment or a question. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.